What's up? It's episode 25 of the We Can't Respawn podcast. I'm back with Birdman and Titan as per usual. This is the deal now, huh? Not us three. by choice. <laughs> yeah. I'm here against my will. Yeah. Um, you're not supposed to tell people that. That was the deals of de- part of the arrangements we've made. So now I'm going to have to punish you. Um, <laughs> Ooh, I can't wait. I can only that. imagine all the <laughs> torturous BDSM things you got there. Yeah. That's, this is a weird intro. Or I just have to listen to future for several hours on Slim, end. Slim Jesus on repeat. <clears throat> or you could just watch a bunch of those Need for Speed cutscenes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> We're talking about that at some point. Yeah, we'll get into that. Um, so it's episode 25. We are a quarter way to 100. Look at us go. Picking up steam and shit. Uh, so anyways, let's we'll just jump into news, I guess, because why the fuck not? So remember last week uh, we talked about Arkham Knight? And how we thought it was totally good to play on PC now? Yeah, it, it's it's not. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what the problems are, necessarily. But apparently it's to the point where they're offering full unconditional refunds for Batman Arkham Knight on PC. I thought that was just like... um, Like, not because of the PC problems that are still there, but just because... It's taken so long for it to come out. Mm, I like don't know. You buy a game and like four months after you're finally able to play it. I don't know if that's the case, um, but I definitely know that they're offering refunds and it is still having issues. Too much of that game went into the water. <laughs> like they, they're just focusing on how good their rain and water effects look. It's fucking. It's very important. It rained the entire game. I mean, <laughs> like, is there an open world game where it's not like raining? 24 7 gta like, i'm pretty yeah. sure it rains 24 7 in gta as well no. like at and least well, at least once LA. every day oh well yeah every gta day it rains yeah, you're probably not wrong there but yeah hey um ign how about you just let me read an article instead of trying to watch a fucking video you assholes <laughs> all right i'm trying to read an article here to see what the deal I wonder is if i can this. get a refund for arkham knight even though i beat it okay it only like applies on, on steam that's kind of yeah, lame. it's a Steam refund. Uh, oh my God, these are the worst websites of all time. Um, second failed PC launch. Refunds for the game. Promised smooth, playable game, but it wasn't the case. Okay, Promised they playable s- game. They said, wasn't the case. we are very sorry that many many our customers continue to be unhappy with the PC version of Arkham Knight. We worked hard to get the game to live up to the standard you deserve, but understand that many of you are still experiencing issues. Until the end of 2015, we will be offering a full refund on Batman Arkham Knight PC, regardless of how long you played the product. You can also return the season pass along with the main game, but not separately. For those of you that hold on to the game, we are going to continue to address the issues that we can fix and talk to you about issues that we cannot fix. What the fuck can't they (laughs) fix? Are you shitting me? That's funny. What the hell? I right. also like how at the beginning of that statement, he's like, we're sorry that you're not happy with the game. Not like, we're sorry that we fucked up. Yeah, we're we sorry we broke it. Um, we're sorry you're not happy. Yeah. Let's see here. What else? I don't know what the issues are, but first of all... Optimization. Same, uh, sh- like, same fucking glitches we see in every <laughs> other game, like those face issues. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's pretty much the Batman version of Assassin's Creed Unity. <laughs> yeah. Where nothing works. Yeah, I mean, if you got previous announcements, still receive this free game. Well, yeah, they are giving away um, the rest of the Arkham series to people who buy it on PC because of how fucked it was. But I mean, who's <laughs> who's gonna keep it at this point? So, like, all four of the games? Yeah, all four. Yeah, I like the whole Arkham business. Man, that's fucked. Like the fact that they said there's problems they cannot fix is completely ridiculous. I mean, the game was made on a PC, so what? <laughs> yeah, what well, isn't working? Fuck? Like, what the fuck happened? PC Master Race? <laughs> um, Clearly, yeah. I don't. That's that's crazy, man. Like, sucks because it's, it's a fun game, but if it's fucked, it's fucked. You know, what are you gonna do? I'm just glad uh, I got that one on console. Yeah, right. That's a risk we didn't take. That's like alarming, though, because like, what if I want to get another game on PC and? That yeah, like Fallout? Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Like, is that a possibility there? I mean, I doubt it, Probably. but... Probably. It is open world. Yeah, I mean, technically I'm sure it's possible, but I feel like Bethesda might have a better grasp on what the fuck they're doing. 
I don't yeah, know. They seem to be pretty good. Yeah, you would you would, you would hope, like but fuck, <laughs> you never know. I guess. I mean, you could really a console version could be fucked too. It shit could happen. But with consoles, there's a lot more predictability in terms of hardware and software, so it's a lot easier. I would imagine to develop for those because there are no variables. It's just the same hardware. Whereas with PC, obviously, a bunch of different setups and shit. So hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get fucked in the near future getting Fallout. That would that would be gay. Uh, so yeah, and they have a season pass too, which is weird. Yeah, they do. But you said uh, it's like DLC for life. Yeah, you <laughs> get everything that ever comes out for it. It's just that like I don't know that they've done that yet. I wonder how much DLC they're actually going to release as DLC, considering there's going to be mod support. You know what I mean? Well, Skyrim had three major, d- well, two major DLC packs and one like house making packs so yeah but that didn't have mod support like, on console that's well, I true. would probably say like four major story DLC editions yeah maybe <clears throat> now I don't know cool Um, I might get it might not I don't know I know I'm getting the game but I don't know season pass because I'm broke Uh, so I guess we'll keep on PC for now Um, Epic Games announced a new game called Paragon Uh, we don't know jack shit about it for the most part other than it is apparently a PC shooter. Um, I guess they're going to be revealing a new playable hero character for each week until December 3rd. But that's about all we know. <laughs> the first playable hero is called Twin Blast. He has two guns and what looks like some kind of bionic arms. Um, it looks pretty, but that's probably not an in-game render or anything weird like yeah, that. Yeah, probably not. But then again, it could be because Epic Games shit has always looked really good. Uh, it says it's due to arrive on PCs in early 2016. So... In a couple months. I guess we'll wait see on that. Um, I'm obviously interested in it because I love the Gear series and shit like that. So um, hopefully it's good. Uh, was that going to be like... Did they even say whether it's going to be multiplayer or single-player focused? or? Mm-mm. No, I would imagine it's multiplayer. Yeah, probably. Um, the like, I thought they were developing a game called Fortnite. Like a, I'm not sure. Like a, it was like a PC like builder survival shooter mixture of shit. So that's weird that they're announcing this when that hasn't even come out yet. Maybe maybe the name just got changed because what? No, it looked way different than this. Oh. It has a, a uh, different art style. Uh. Friday the 13th was called Summer, Summer Camp, Camp, and like yeah. not long after that, they got the rights to Friday the mm-hmm. 13th, and they just changed the name. Yeah, no, Fortnite looked different than this. It was a more cartoony-ish sort of style. cell shaded Something like that. But yeah, um, I'm looking forward to more details on that. Hopefully it's good. Um, although, I don't know how much I'll play a PC shooter at this point, but hey, who knows. Oh, man. Oh, big news. Big news. Activision bought the Candy Crush developer for eh, only, you know, $5.9 billion fucking dollars. That's more than Minecraft, isn't it? Shit. Yeah. It's more than what Microsoft paid for Minecraft. How much did they pay? For, like $2 billion or something? Yeah, it was only I like say. 2 Why the... F- a Candy Crush, though? Like, well, do they think that, like... They're going to make another app, and Activision can make all the money. Well, they don't even need to make money. Like, Well, I think... Every Call of Duty breaks fucking records. Um, the point of this buy was not necessarily the game itself, but... Like fu- I meant, like, a future game. Well, no, that's... Hold on. Um, it's not necessarily the game or a future game. It's the 450 million monthly active users in 196 countries that they're essentially buying. So they're buying an audience, is what they're saying, is the reason they did it. Not so much as... Um, right, so Activision needs to buy their audiences now because <laughs> they can't win it on their own merits I anymore. Mean, probably, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, that's how that's how it works. Especially those social games that people get addicted to. Yeah, which Candy Crush totally is. Uh, instead of having... I still get messages on Facebook for that, <laughs> like invites. I've never touched it and I don't plan to. You can kiss my yeah. ass. Uh, this says instead of having to build up a mobile game unit from scratch, they could just basically use this company as that, I guess. That fucking, that's a lot of money, dude. Jesus Christ. That, I think they could buy an aircraft carrier with that, actually. Probably. I know it's, uh, the comparison I heard is that it's 
more it's more than Disney paid to buy Star Wars. That's crazy. Yeah, I read that. That's right. Yeah, that's, I mean that. That's baffling. Like <laughs> I don't even begin to know like I mean the obvious logic is they're buying an audience, but why was it so much? Uh fuck, I have no idea. That's <laughs> that's an asinine amount of money. Fuck, like I I don't know. I guess why not when you're Activision, you have a bunch of money for no fucking reason. But like oh my god. That's so crazy. Five point nine billion dollars for a fucking I mean, they mobile gotta do game something with that developer. with that Call of Duty money. It seems like that's <laughs> that all Destiny the money, money that all of the Call of Duties made like collectively <laughs> ever. Like yeah, they literally just spent every single cent they got from Call of Duty. They sales just built their this. Call of Duty trust fund. They can't Scrooge McDuck it all day. They gotta spend it at some <laughs> point, right? Yeah, yeah. You would think, and a mobile game developer is what they chose to go with. I guess we'll see what the fuck happens there. I don't. I don't know. That's nuts, though. I. I mean, you'd think the Flappy Bird developer would get more than that. Yeah, but he only made one game. I think they made a couple because it said hit games, plural, like Candy Crush. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck else they made. I didn't even know who made Candy Crush until like twenty seconds ago. So, <laughs> uh, that's crazy. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't pan out for them because fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe they can stop making Call of Duty if they run out of money. And Destiny. Uh, yeah, I guess. Um, so, yeah, that, that happened. Um, let's see, what do we got here? Okay, so this struck me as kind of funny. Um, Sega is now promising that uh, Sonic games won't suck anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to see that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sonic and the Black Knight. <clears throat> I don't even know what that is. It's probably for the best. <laughs> um. What was I saying here? Yeah, so that's what they said, but you can say things. I mean, you can say whatever you want. I don't believe you. (laughs) No. I don't fucking believe you at all. Uh, Sonic games, as of late, have been just ridiculous and stupid. For like a decade. But like, it's... I don't know that it's easy to make a good Sonic game at this point because, you know, everybody loved the old 2D side-scroller version. And you obviously can't just which remake is, that. Which is kind of funny because the old 2D side-scrollers actually penalized you for going faster. <laughs> yeah, you usually die. Yeah. It's, it, really, it's really hard. You get those fast shoes and you want to run through the whole map and just jump down a fucking hole and die. Yeah, or you, or you hit a bumblebee going like... 180,000 <laughs> miles an hour. It should have both just and exploded. It, you, yeah, it, it kills you. Yeah. Yeah, it was that game was hard. I've never beat Sonic Two. I, I got to the end boss where Robotnik dresses up. <sighs> <laughs> That's the sound he makes when he drowns. Hey, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. Um, uh, yeah, the end boss where he, Robotnik dresses up as a giant metal Sonic because I guess if you can't beat him, join him. I don't know <laughs> the fuck, but yeah, I never got to beat it. So aggravating. There was a Sonic where he got into space somehow. I think it was that one, yeah. Sonic and the Black Knight? No, um, well, uh, Sonic 2, I'm pretty sure you, that last fight was on a spaceship or some shit. <clears throat> I might be wrong. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> no, it was just like a, like the opening cutscene starts with like Sonic on a space station <laughs> or some shit. And Man. I'm like, how the fuck did he get there? Like, There's, hold on. There was a there, couple there. games that were decent. Um, for GameCube, uh, the the Dreamcast s- ones were okay. Wonder, were they like Sonic Unleashed or some Sonic shit? Adventure, where you could like train these little blue pets? Basically, I forget what they were even called, but that game was kind of amusing. I don't know. Yeah, the last good I one just... I know of is Sonic Adventure for the uh, Dreamcast. Hmm. I just remember um, Sonic O Six. I think it is. Wait, is that I think it's just name titled it? Sonic? the hedgehog or something oh but um he he lives in like an anime world where there's like regular (laughs) size people like like anime animated style people interacting with him what the fuck how tall is he in comparison like four feet tall ish (laughs) anthropomorphized hedgehog is like inner he like saves a princess and he's like carrying her in his arms while he's running (laughs) that sounds awful is it the same princess that makes out with him in sonic and the black knight what, Probably. What console uh, was that for? It's so um Xbox, I right? think the original Xbox. Oh my god. 
or, or was it 360? It was right during that transition because it was 06. Mm. But it's like there's one part where you ride on the back of a whale, <laughs> like an orca or some shit. It's so weird. Like, what does this have to do with Sonic? What would a good Sonic game have to be? Like, what would it have to, like, the, the play style and, like, what would it have to be? I would say it'd have to be somewhat similar to the Dreamcast version because it was, it was like a 3D world. But, like, it still had that sort of track racing element sort of deal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. It, I don't even... I, Sonic games wouldn't even appeal to me anymore. Like, I wouldn't... Well, yeah, I mean, they shit the bed so many times. What the fuck's the point in even buying one now? Yeah. They could I mean, just the, let the character die. The, the only way... Yeah, you would think. Maybe in, like, a, if it was a beat-em-up <laughs> and he was fighting other Microsoft or... <laughs> I mean, he's in uh, Super Smash Brothers, but yeah, I I, I don't know. I don't I guess they're what they're gonna do is they're gonna take longer in between releases of Sonic games in general. Um, I guess to polish the turd that they're putting out. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, uh, I think they're going in the mobile direction, is what I read. Oh um, God. Which obviously is I uh, isn't that what they've been doing? Mobile versions? Yeah. Like mobile shitty mobile games like a temple run version of Sonic is that oh, a thing. Oh god, yeah, I ha- I actually had that at one point. A temple run version with Sonic. <laughs> I still do. It's called Sonic Dash. <laughs> yeah. It's really bad. Uh, the, I don't know. I I feel like Titan you might be right. They should just end it and have Sonic hang himself from a lamppost or some shit. <laughs> oh, God, that would be dark. <laughs> yeah, or, or you know, it, the uh, uh, the ring that you run around real fast in the old games, the loop-de-loop, yeah. just hanging speaking from the top of, of it. Of really <laughs> just, just let him die. That's what I mean. <laughs> S- speaking of really dark Dignity. Sonic games, there was an unlicensed uh, like joke game that came out where you're it's like Sonic Movie Maker or something, and... It's really twisted if you look it up. It's almost like a creepy pasta in a way. <laughs> um, in fact, I, I saw it watching a Creeps McPasta YouTube video of it. You're at one point you like feed Sonic until he like explodes. Like the you fuck? drop food from the ceiling and just feed him. That seems. And then creepy. at another part, you're on a date with him, and like <laughs> uh, uh, the Eggman, Doctor Robotnik, is giving you advice. What the fuck? That seems really bizarre. I don't feel like it's I want pro- to. Look it at sounds that. like a Japanese made game. Because <laughs> the Japanese but... make a lot of those stu- those dating simulator games, like where you go on a. Like the whole goal is to go on dates with girls. Yeah, it's I really mean. weird. Well, their, their culture is fucked, so. It's bizarre, that's for certain. But. They should just let Tails kill Sonic. Turn it. You know what? They could just. It could be a Nintendo murder mystery game, and you have to figure out the murder <laughs> who killed of Sonic. Sonic as <laughs> be amazing. As um, I don't know Mario. I guess that'd be awesome. Somebody dressed as Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> Mario dressed as Mario, Sherlock yeah, Holmes. Yeah, Mario in a Sherlock Holmes costume that gives him special powers of some sort. That would be amazing. Mario. What's your last name? Mario. <laughs> Mario. Mario. Luigi. Mario. That's right, yeah, that, those aren't their last names. Oh my god. Uh, well, hopefully, I guess they don't suck, but I, I'm yeah. not going to bother, but hey, go yeah. Sega. Yeah, we'll look at it on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I'll watch, I'll watch PewDiePie play. No, no way I won't. No way, do that. no way I'm play, paying money for those. Um, So, a game that was probably not going to suck, Mirror's Edge got delayed. When was it supposed to come out, do you know? I'm not, I'm not I'm gonna look it up. Um, I don't even remember them saying a release date to be honest well it got i just remember them whatever that was i just remember it being announced yeah it got delayed from whatever that was until may of 2016 uh which uh, i guess i kind of suck oh delayed for three months mm. so yeah that there you go seems to be the you know because batman was delayed three months twice and the division has been delayed three months like eight times so yeah <laughs> It was supposed to come out in February. Uh, we'll apparently give the team behind it more time to create the kind of gameplay that gamers are hoping to experience. Shouldn't they maybe have been doing that from the start? Or no? It's EA. Ah, fucking A. What is this ad? Get off of here, you piece of... Oh, I can't even scroll. These ads are so fucked. Uh, okay, well, I can't read the article because there's ads all over the place. But 
That sucks. Um, I was looking forward to playing it. I'm still looking forward to playing it. I just have to wait longer. Um, Story of our lives. Yeah, hopefully it's good. Um, it's Dice that's making it. So. I yeah, I think they made the first one. It's gonna be a a battlefield reskin. No, they made the first <laughs> one. It's pretty decent. Uh, I know. I was just kidding. Oh. It, it, it's playing on the battlefield all, battlefront. Thing. All browns and and earth tones and uh, <laughs> gray De- debris everywhere, <laughs> floating through the sky. Oh God. <laughs> Yeah, it sucks, man. I'm so tired of shit getting delayed. They should just not tell us release dates until it's like a month away. Yep. And it's like for sure coming out. Yeah, like what Fallout did. Because Fallout, like, was they cool. announced their game in like E3, which was what, June? Yeah. Yeah, and, it was a couple months ago. Yeah. yeah, and it's coming out this year. It's basically probably, it was coming probably like already done. Six days. Yeah, six days. Woo, right. Don't announce your game until you're putting the final coat of polish on it. And then yeah. that's when you announce it. Don't apo- don't fucking put it out when it's still like a stick figure running through a box world or some shit. Yeah, like God damn it, it's so like aggravating. Half games on yeah, like hey, we access. Like hey, shit. we could have it out by this date, but we doubt it. But look out for it on that date, anyways. It's basically what it seems like now. So they're just like, well, we could potentially have it out. They're February, just trying so. to. It's, it's just the whole hype thing. Yeah, yeah. want to generate hype. Yeah, I guess they're like, hey, if we give you a date, you can pre-order it right now. That's probably why they do it. They probably have to have like a solidified date to allow pre-orders. They're, they're going to do pre-orders before they do titles soon. I guarantee it. <laughs> Pre-order yeah. the next fucking Call of Duty game <laughs> Just <in> tomorrow. <laughs> Just in they're going to call it like top secret project from developer of this yeah. pre-order now. <laughs> uh, people would too. That's the fucking ridiculous part. Uh-huh. Well, it's got to be good. No, I support everything they do. It's, it's fucking showering with Dad Simulator, next thing you know. <laughs> what a fucking weird game. <laughs> There's another one, Pooping with Your Dad Simulator, I think it is. Yeah. We've briefly glossed over that before right. on this podcast. <laughs> pooping with your dad. Pooping with... What the fuck, dude? Well, one of these yeah. days we should browse the Steam for like... dark. The, we should browse Steam terrors. for like the weirdest fucking games we could find and play them all. All on Steam, but you could find them. Probably. We should do that. That'd be hilarious. Hilariously terrible. Uh... So that yeah, that's that's happening. Uh we can see that that yeah, great. Um okay, so I haven't played the first one yet, but they are well they announced Outlast two. Um which I I don't know, like I I still want to play the first one. Um so hopefully I can play that before the second one comes out. I should probably look up when it's coming out, if they have a date, which it'll get delayed probably, so you know, that's cool. Did either I you? think the Outlast bundle is on sale right now on Ooh. Uh, Xbox One. So oh, I'm like broke though. <laughs> that makes sense. Like all the horror games went on sale oh, yeah, for so. Halloween, and they usually uh, like to keep those going. I'm waiting for the fall the holiday Steam sale. Mm. Oh, it's gonna be juicy. Yeah, right. Probably just wait to get full out to that. Be like fucking sixty percent off. It says that the creepy game will test your faith. Then apparently there's an upside down burning faith. cross of some sort. Oh that's, my god, that's interesting. It has a disturbing teaser. I'll have to watch that. I haven't seen it yet. But yeah, I want to play the first one. I heard it was creepy as shit, so I want to do that. We should maybe do that on the stream. I heard it. Yeah, I heard it was one of the better uh, horror games. Yeah, like I, it just does. It's not just jump scares. Stupid jump scares. Yeah, <laughs> you can make anything a jump scare if it's loud enough and sudden enough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, it's so annoying. I hate that's jump what a paranormal activity movie is. Yeah, pretty much like all pots and pans flying out of the cabinets, or like just and characters walking into the shot and they try to make oh. that a jump scare. Yeah. Oh my god, that's the play worst extra, way to play, especially music. when it's somebody they know, mm-hmm. and they just put their hand on their shoulder. Like, when do you ever do that to somebody? <laughs> like, unless, unless you want to get shot? No, never. Yeah, I'll do the Hey Arnold Helga punch. The backhand that <laughs> fucking nerdy kid into the trash can. <laughs> Speaking of horror stories, going back and watching that show, how creepy Helga is. <laughs> Speaking of that, punches, that Arnold um, Shrine. This uh-huh. Pokemon tournament game needs to come out already because it looks oh, my fantastic. God. And it, oh, it's not like God. like for some reason I thought they were just going to limit it to all the fighting type Pokemon, yeah, but that makes sense. I'm sitting there watching. 
Pikachu Libre fight people. Pikachu Libre. Charizard, Lucario. Well, Lucario is a fighting type, I think. Pikachu Libre is exactly what you would think it would be, and it's fucking I hope amazing. every single one of those Pokemon have, like, funny skins. God, I hope so. Pikachu dressed up in a fucking Luchador costume. Yeah, it was, that was amazing. pretty great. Holy shit, it was hilarious. And they just announced Shadow Mewtwo. Yeah, that was badass. Which I guess is a mega evolution of Mewtwo or whatever. Yeah. I hope he talks in the game. <sighs> Should, right? That would be great. They this need to release this in USA. I would get a Wii U just for that game. Literally. And I guess, yeah. is there like a Smash Brothers for Wii U? I could play that too, I guess. Pro- yeah, I think. Yeah. Um, but yeah, dude. And then, oh, you, and then you'd have to get into the Amiibo scene, which... That can eat my butt. ...is like ridiculous, apparently. I don't want to do that. That's like... Reminds it's, me of Skylanders. It's like people with Funko Pop dolls. Like yeah, they just know mean. race to collect all. Yeah, of I see them. it all over Twitter. People talking about these fucking amiibos. Like, good lord, gotta catch them all. I don't have enough money for that. <laughs> right. And Nintendo, you could send me them all, and a Wii U, and Pokemon Tournament, and Super Smash Brothers. Just saying. I'm just hoping they with with the, the Pokemon Tournament. I'm just hoping over. they release more Pokemon because right now there's only like maybe ten. What, yeah. And I'm game? just hoping that it's just stead- steadily just more in the and game. More just yeah, I think there's only like ten playable fighters. We saw. Right I'm pretty sure there was more than ten in that trailer. I, maybe they might have made it look like there was more than ten. Right. But I did see a bunch of them reappearing, but I don't know. Yeah, um, I saw that fire fucking fighting type. I don't know. I'm not really good. Blaziken or whatever. Yeah, I think L- it is. Lucario, yeah. Charizard, Machamp, fucking. Uh, Gengar. Gengar. Yeah. I was gonna, I was I'm going to look up the roster now. Five additional. Uh, Pikachu. <laughs> Kpopstars.com. <laughs> Charizard. Entei. One, two, three, four. Uh, five, Dark six, Mewtwo. Seven, nine. Yeah, but uh, is Dark Mewtwo playable or is he just the villain? I think he's playable. That That's awesome. Um, There was one I didn't recognize. It was S- like a Pokemon. Slycoon is in it. Is that the Pokemon that kind of looks like she's like a leaf type, but she's wearing a trench coat, kind of? No, that <laughs> yeah. is Gardevoir. Jesus oh Christ, God. how do you know that? That was the most... At, because I'm looking at the webpage right oh, okay. here. okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm imagining that there's more than ten fighters in that game, there if not. should oh. be. Should be and all Weevil. 700. And... Weevil? Weevil. Are you shitting me? I'm just Weevil. telling y'all right now, if that game comes out for... You know, Charizard, not just the Pikachu, Pikachu, Nintendo. Libre, Machamp, Gengar, Suicune, Blaziken, Gardevoir, Lucario, and Weevil. Wobbuffet's not in it. I'm not buying it. Well, so far, Wobbuffet's not in it. So. Yeah, so I'm not buying it. He would be the most worthless in a fight, too. <laughs> Which is why I would You're be right. number one, because it no is one would ever. Also. Um, Wobbuffet. Yeah, it's in Japan right now. Uh, it's like uh, like you could go to Japan right now and play it. Which I'm super fucking jealous about, because I yeah, wanted to play that game. It's only Wii U. Yeah, like I said, I'll buy a Wii U for it. I don't give a fuck. Um, that game looks awesome, and I hope I really, really, really hope that they release it in the states, or I can like get it imported from Japan or some shit, like a Japanese Wii U. I don't know. I'll learn Japanese to play this game. <laughs> learn to read Japanese, nonetheless. Yeah, that oh, I'm sure the demand will be high enough that they'll release it. Yeah, I feel like you're right. I feel like they'd be dropping the ball if they didn't. And plus, that trailer was in English as shit, so... Yeah. Bring the bitch over here. You know what I'm saying? They will. It's probably just mm-hmm. going to take time. Yeah. Hopefully hopefully we see it soon. Well, not too soon, because I can't afford a Wii U right now, but... <laughs> hopefully once I when can. When it's convenient to us, we'll see it. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully. That's how it plays out. Uh, I can't imagine that it will, but... Anyways, speaking of not being able to afford things um our fun little topic of the day for today is going to be um the fall lineup i guess you could call it um it's basically the games that are coming out or that have come out that we've played or or want to play or think are ridiculous and that whole deal so um well you know what i'll start with my need for speed impressions since i just got it yesterday uh was a little drunk and i bought it (laughs) so i've been playing that today um the racing itself isn't bad. It's arcadey, obviously. Um, people are some people are probably upset about that. Others probably aren't. That's just the way it goes, you know. Need for Speed's never been one hundred percent sim racing, and when it was, it was terrible, from what I understand. I didn't play that yeah. Need for Speed, but Pro Street 
Yeah, they, tried, you, it, they tried to just make it into like one of those uh, in-depth circuit racers. Yeah. Like just like Gran Turismo and Forza. Did you play it at all? Yeah. Yeah, I played it. Was I it shitty? It, I mean, it's like you're trying to blend um, one genre of racing mm-hmm. into the sim style of racing without compensating. It's like if you took the mechanics of this game and tried to play Forza like that. You mm. couldn't do it. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Um, as far as, let's see, visuals go, everything's fucking wet. <laughs> the entire game is at night and wet. Um, there's no dry area in the game. Your car always has droplets of water on it, which is weird. So it's like Arkham Knight then. Yeah, yeah. they just want to show off their fucking Literally, water effects. It's I'm surprised ridiculous. you don't see Batman flying around above you while you're driving. That's how dark and rainy it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. I don't get it. Um, I mean, the water looks good, sure. Yeah, I mean, if that's what they wanted, you know, water looks good, whatever. <laughs> um, the cars look good. Let's see what else. Uh, it's 30 frames, not 60. Um, they delayed the PC version so they could lock it at 60 or get it to 60 because it was locked at 30 before. So that's interesting. Kind of butthurt that it's not 60 for Yeah, Xbox. I mean, speaking of that, like... Uh I heard the fo- the Fallout console versions are locked at 30. You know, I don't feel like I, um, that's going to bother me as much. No, in open world games, you don't really... Yeah, it's like high-speed racing and shit, you, it would look way better at yeah. 60. And shooters. Yeah, and but, shooters, right. Um, yeah, I'm just going to jump in because I know you're going to say it, but I want to say it first. The cutscenes in this game <laughs> are some of the worst... In any format of video yeah, no that I have ever seen. I wish you were exaggerating. Ever. You are 100% correct. It's the cheesiest, over-the-top, poorly acted... I. If the Asylum made a video fuck. game, that's what these cutscenes would be. They're just. Would you describe it as better or worse than WWE acting? Hmm. That's tough. Way worse. Way yeah. worse. Yeah, I guess. Because at least, at least um, being a wrestler takes skill. Doing what these assholes think they're doing <laughs> doesn't at all. Like, you could just film teens on a camera and you'd uh, you'd probably get um, a better result. Yeah. Um, uh, it's yeah. like they went in there and they're like, just pretend that you're a really bad actor acting out these parts. <laughs> and continue to look right into the camera. Well, that's because they're supposed to be looking into your guy's eyes. Oh, God. Because it's first person. Oh, and your guy also doesn't talk, and no one finds that weird. Not at all. No one ever mentions it. Well, they do mention it. They do do say something about he keeps his mouth shut and listens or some bullshit. I hate that. That that might even be worse than not acknowledging it, (laughs) saying some dumb shit like that. I mean, yeah, I say that's kind of dumb, but, like, Half-Life is kind of built off that. (laughs) Your guy doesn't talk. But in this, it doesn't because, like... Someone is con- like you cannot have a phone call with someone who doesn't speak. Yeah, they always call you and they say a bunch of shit and hang up. <laughs> How like, rude! It's weird. <laughs> it's weird. And the cutscene—they're so bad that they have to have been premeditated to be that bad. You feel legitimately uncomfortable watching mm-hmm. them. Yeah, I feel like for those quote-unquote actors, I'm like, this is the worst thing they could have ever done in their, in their, in their careers. It's it. It's over. You're done. <laughs> you are getting no roles. You couldn't even be in Sharknado 4. That's how bad this acting is. Wow. Yeah. It's, wow. It's really, really bad. I'm telling you, you're going to have to see some of these fucking... I'll, on Saturday, yeah, I'll show you some of these up. fucking cutscenes. <laughs> you, you I'll give you a bucket, too, in case you vomit everywhere. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's so bad, dude. Ugh, it's disgusting. And it's it's weird because it's like and live we've action. And only had the small sample size too, so yeah, no it's, telling it's on how worse action. it gets. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. the cutscenes are live action. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's fucking weird, dude. I'm telling you. Yeah, the racing Don't itself ask. is pretty decent. You know, you can tune your car to whether you want to drift or race with grip. Which uh, I'm noticing that drifting is the way to go for some reason. Uh, I I've now I'm only on my first car. I've done probably like 15 races. And I still have my first car. So they don't really make you buy a new one quickly. But um, I find that I'm way better off drifting than I am grip racing. Like, you know, normal turns and shit. Because it just seems too fucking slow. It seems like if you have to hit the brakes at all, other than to drift, you're going to get past. Uh, one thing that the racing does suffer from is what a lot of people call rubber banding. It's when you'll blow away the AI for like... 90 percent of the fucking race and then the last 10 percent of the race they're all of a sudden right up your ass and or Pass passing you with, you with like a second left yeah it's 
it's basically having catch up on in GTA racing. That's what it is. It's fucking stupid. Yeah, we're going to slow you down so everyone else can catch up to you. Yes. <laughs> Thankfully, they don't slow you down. They just give the fucking computer a 500% speed burst and shit. Um, I don't know. Like, the mechanics themselves are pretty decent. The steering's a little funky, as I'm sure you noticed. It feels a little sluggish. Yeah. And I'm not sure if that's it based on heavy. the tuning. Like, I, I told you there's a fast response steering and slow, and there's, like, a, a bar you can or a slider. Yeah. So I don't know if maybe that's it. But it does feel a little weird. It's a little bit to get used to. Um, but it, the drifting's fun. Once you get the hang of drifting, it feels fucking cool as shit. Uh, the cars sound cool. Um, when you're accelerating, when you let off the gas, they don't make any noise at all. There's no like idle sound. They have a stealth drive in their engines. Yeah, when they're decelerating, you would still hear engine noise. Not in this game though. Like fuck that. We don't need it. Just silence. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh, there's okay. So some drawbacks. There is no cockpit view. At all, you can get a bumper view or like a hood view. That's it. Uh, no in the car view, which sucks. Um, I thought they might have that. Uh, I feel like it'd be fun, you know, driving in the rain endlessly in cockpit view. And there's no manual transmission mode, which is <coughs> really weird for a racing game. Yeah, a lot of people yeah. are pissed. I mean, for good reason. And I thought about it, and there's a way you could do it controls wise. The left bumper and the right bumper are used to left bumper answer calls and right bumper um, start events. You could just switch those to left and right on the D-pad because the D-pad doesn't do shit, and you can use left bumper, right bumper to shift. So it's not like it would be hard to do. In, well, in terms of controls, I, I don't know what the fuck else is involved, but it's crazy to me that there is no manual transmission mode in a driving game. Yeah, I, I don't know why you wouldn't put that. Yeah, I was kind of looking forward to it because I just started driving that way in Forza. So I was like, oh, cool. It'll be fun. Uh, There's not a shit ton of cars in it, but there's a good amount. And uh, one super positive thing and one of the big reasons I bought it is they promised no paid DLC. So anything that comes out is free. So that's pretty nuts. And it's EA. Can you imagine that? Yeah. (laughs) fuck did that happen? (laughs) Oh, it's made, wasn't it made by Ghost? Yeah, Ghost. Yeah, I don't know who yeah. the fuck that is, but no. Yeah, well, I thought Ghost. I thought Ghost that. was the black security guard they were showing In on the screen. Intro, yeah, with me that, too. With the worst handshake of all time Man, that I've ever seen. The whole seen. game is the worst handshake. The <laughs> yeah, it's bad. Um, and then every single person at that party was was drinking uh, Monster. Monster. Yeah. Yep. Every single one of them. Oh, the one time you, you the one cutscene you go into the diner. And sitting on the table, there's three monsters, and they hand you one. It's great. The whole game is sponsored by Monster, I swear to God. Probably. Well, it is, I'm sure, at that point. Probably. Uh, so, in terms of other things that have recently been released, Birdman, have you been playing Assassin's Creed Syndicate? Yeah, I played a little bit of it. What's it's th- um, it's probably not going to uh, revitalize anyone's faith in the series, mm-hmm. as nothing really blows me away um they just fixed pretty much everything that was wrong with unity yeah it seems stable the story is um you know you can actually get into the story it's pretty decent the characters uh people are actually praising the characters as the best in the entire series better than edward better than um Ezio. uh it's the most modern game yet it's yeah. um like in london um uh, like horse carriages and mm-hmm. they have this cool little uh rope device that lets you scale up buildings hey, pretty dude, much i heard some dude made one of those in real life and it's so ridiculous that the headline was so and so made this and didn't die <laughs> <laughs> well yeah the way they show it in the game is like doesn't even matter how tall the building is like the dude will He'll shoot the grappling hook up, and he'll like it's almost like the Batman grappling hook. Yeah. Except that like the dude is like running up the wall while it's pulling him yeah, up. Yeah, I see. I see um, what you mean. And it's way better than just like sprinting everywhere because mm-hmm. you can connect them between buildings. You can even go like you can even connect it uh, like a zip line going upwards, and you can travel upwards. Like you know how you, you would just be uh, monkey crawling up. Yeah. Like, you actually like slide upwards hmm. um but other than that I, I haven't played it too much the char- all the characters are 
like historical characters like Karl Marx, um, Charles Dickens, yeah, Charles typical, Darwin, like, Assassin's Creed style stuff. Yeah, where the, and Alexander Graham Bell. Like they try to put like a the Assassin's Creed spin on every character. Like, oh, Alexander Graham Bell is your tech is your <laughs> tech guy yeah. and stuff like that. Um, I know I don't sound too enthusiastic about it, but I haven't played a lot but i have enjoyed the little i have played there's yeah, no swords I, I haven't seen you play too much you you don't uh no it's a different time it, well it's a different time period nobody's walking around with a sword on their <laughs> hip you get um you, you get three types of weapons uh brass knuckles um some little kuari knife i think they're called or a cane sword mm-hmm. like it's a cane and you know the, uh, the blade cool. comes out out of it that seems fun um, the combat is button mashy this time around. Yeah. Like every, every fighting game is trying to copy the whole Arkham Knight thing. Um, but it's pretty much just how fast you can mash the attack button and you get a super large window for countering and then that's it. Like I, I see the same execution pretty much every fight. Mm hmm. So I'm not I, I the combat doesn't really stand out but so far I mean it's okay. Yeah, it sounds maybe, maybe like a a 7. Sounds Assassin's Creedy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean I haven't gotten to the, they, they really don't give you any background to their motivation. At least they haven't like I have no idea what the main characters are trying to do. And yeah. I've been playing for like 4 or 5 hours. <laughs> what, what um about the um the plot outside the animus. Have they, I have, have they yet, gone back to that? No, at all? I've yet to. Co- I have yet to uh, to go back outside. Thank goodness. Um, yeah, the, they should have dropped that um, after Desmond died because uh, that's literally when everybody stopped giving a shit. <laughs> even though nobody liked Desmond to begin with, I didn't even give a shit about it back then. Yeah. I hated that part. Yeah, it was all for some like two thousand what fifteen world-ending solar flare plot and then that just went completely Ew. out of the i don't even know yeah, what the they, hell it's about they now. were almost playing up like the 2012 doomsday thing and yeah. then of course that didn't happen so then they just totally ditched that and went who knows yeah and did whatever they did with the fucking um assassin's creed 4 where he worked for abstergo making pirate st- commercials yeah yeah <laughs> as a matter of fact yeah you were making you were uh you went back uh to Edward's memories so you could make um a movie. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Upstairs goes about... an entertainment company now. Yeah. That sounds ridiculous. It so, is. So um basically what started the fall season, I guess, would you consider October fall ish? Yeah. So I would even consider September. Yeah. So in September you had two K sixteen NBA, um Metal Gear Solid, Forza Six uh, all those we've sort of played. Um, Rock Band 4, we talked about, I think, last week or two weeks ago. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> Going to be playing some of that this weekend. Um, Halo 5, we've talked about in depth for the most part. You just talked Assassin's Creed, Need for Speed. So let's get on to um, what we're looking for. Call to. of Duty! <sighs> You know, it's you know what I can't even be mad because I was gonna say, uh, let's go to what we're looking forward to, which is obviously Call of Duty. <laughs> so yeah, you just beat out, me to it, basically. I mean, tomorrow night, um, yeah. There's absolutely no chance in hell I'm gonna buy it, so we can just skip over it. If I just somebody want, wants to just give it to me, the fact that it comes out. If someone wants to give it to me, I'll rage at it for a while, but I'm not buying it. There ain't no fucking way. Right. I don't even know if I want to give myself the stress induced fucking heart attacks. I'm that, having a hard enough time committing to Fallout. So there's no way I'm, I'm there's no way I'm putting another shooter on my plate. No, like, I'm good. Uh, me and Titan kind of learned something last night playing Halo is that shooters are hard now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we were getting pooped on in Halo Five, and I was just complaining the whole they time. They require. Um, they've gone from just kind of being um, chill, turn your brain off, and chill to like you actually need to coordinate. Like it's even like that way in like Battlefront, need, or it, Battlefield. Like, it needs like 100 percent focus now. I don't have that. Like. I mean, I was uh, we, I got stuck in the platinum division in Halo Five. I don't even know if that's good, but it's way too good for me. I don't want to have to. <laughs> I don't have to try that hard to do good. <laughs> right. So I don't no. think another multiplayer shooter is in the books for me. 
Yeah, We're I mean, too old. I think we are. It's ridiculous to say, but I think right. you might be right. I need more Monster and Doritos or something. Or what is it? Mountain Dew and Doritos? Mountain Dew and Doritos. See, look, yeah. I don't even know. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, and, you know, Fallout, uh, I think they they built their gun mechanics off of what Destiny, you know, started. But, uh, yeah, I'm having a hard enough time committing to that because I still don't know if I want to get it for PC for fear of shitty release. I don't or know if which I way I'm going consoles. with it either. It's fucked. I don't know. It's um, f- six days and I have no idea. That you know, and then, you know, Battlefront's still coming out. I, I You know, I said I wasn't going to buy it, but, like, every now and then I just kind of rethink, like, maybe it isn't as shitty as the beta. Like, because you can, only, you can only use the beta excuse for so shitty, long. It wasn't shitty. It was just meh. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then, you know, well, there's another shooter coming out. Uh, r- is it Rainbow Six coming out soon? Yeah, that... I hear that's up. complete garbage. I played the beta from that and poo. Uh, yeah, well, okay, let me rephrase that. I tried to play the beta. I think I got into a match and a half, and I was like, "Nah, I'm good, thanks." Uh, I don't think it has the capabilities to stand up to the other big shooters that are out. There's no fucking way. Right. I mean, fall season for games really just means FPS season. It's like triple A season. Yeah. Even if it's not an FPS, it's a big game. Um, one that I Actually, am looking forward to that I keep forgetting about is Just Cause 3. Uh, every now and then I'll be browsing... When is that coming out? Uh, December 1st. Um, every now and then I'll be browsing either the gaming subreddit or just the internet in general, and I'll, I'll see a clip from Just Cause 3 of some ridiculous shit happening. For instance, uh, just yesterday or two days ago, I saw a clip of the main character um, shooting a or attaching a rocket to the side of a, <laughs> of a cow... And proceeding to launch the cow up into the sky. <laughs> I and think I'm going to pre-order hilarious. this game. Right? Like, Sounds amazing. Ridiculous. That does. You can like grappling hook things to other things and make I, crazy shit happen. I would just start grappling like the civilians to whatever. I'm going to try and attach a group of cows to the back of my car and drive around like a just married car, but with cows dragging behind instead. <laughs> or the cows in front to pull your car. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd try to. I would try to oh. attach them to like a helicopter or a plane what or something. What if we attach two cows to the front of the car and attach rockets to the cows and then get in the car and set off the rockets? Oh yeah, <laughs> this could work. <laughs> we need it's, to get this game. It's <laughs> clearly this has to happen. It's I, rock car, rock cow powdered, rock rock cow, rock cow, rock cow, cow powered. powered. I like it. It's rock. Good. Cow no power. more horsepower. No, it's rock out power. <laughs> That's right. Are there any other animals in the game? I don't know. I just Can thought I find a monkey and, and uh, you, know, you want to launch it into space? To a... Go right ahead. <laughs> Whatever it is. Can you launch in, into If you car. could launch into space in that game, that would be pretty ridiculous. <laughs> I'm look. I'm so... I would literally just spend like half the game skydiving from space. Somebody made the ridiculous comment, or it was a, they posed the question: Is Just Cause Three too chaotic? You better shut your mouth. No, it is not. I haven't even played it yet, and I know that it's not. It's because of all this. It's like the type of game like that we that's it right in our wheelhouse that you need yeah. multiplayer for. Yeah, I, hopefully it has multiplayer. I, I don't, don't know. Think, no, it doesn't. Well, then I'm getting it on PC, so when they mod in fucking multiplayer, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I keep forgetting about it, and it keeps reappearing every now and then, and I'm like, oh my god, this is yeah, the like player. I like a lot of uh, channels that I follow are like every now and then they'll. To be like, oh, well, we're playing this with this today. Like, how the how are you playing it like right now? Yeah, like, it's more than like two months out. Well, not anymore, but I've been seeing gameplay clips for mm-hmm. months now. But I mean, it sounds fun, dude. Yeah, everything man. I've seen from it looks fun. Like, uh, I saw the character. He, you know, one of those like propane gas canisters that like in video games, if you shoot, it'll start flying everywhere. Mm-hmm, yeah. Well, he. Uh, tethered himself to it, shot it, and launched himself in the air with it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, dude. It's so ridiculous. It's and like it's, and the, another like I've seen. Uh, there was a, there was one where he was getting chased, and you know you could car surf. A helicopter was following him, so he tethered the helicopter to the ground while it was going full speed, <laughs> and it just slang shot it right into the ground and blew it up. Rumor like, has it. It's not going to launch with multiplayer, but it could get it after launch. Is that a rumor? Yeah. It's word on like, the street. 
<laughs> that would be fucking dope. Oh god, I would love amazing. it. Sounds amazing. I mean, it, it sounds, sounds like crazy. If MacGyver and MythBusters and Michael Bay all had a baby. <laughs> I mean, Just Cause Two was pretty crazy. Just Cause Two was great. I love yeah. that game. If the if the map was a little more detailed, that game would have been better. But that map was just like a whole big empty pile of nothing. Yeah. Hey, did you see? Um, Fallout is adding. Well, Forza is adding Fallout themed cars. To yeah, Forza 6. I saw that. You see that old truck. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And uh, <clears throat> if you pre-order Fallout on Steam, if you play Dota two, you can replace the announcer with that robot. No, that's cool. Uh, what is his name? Mister Handy, I think. <laughs> I That's hope a not. great name. That's ridiculous. Oh man, yeah. It's. I mean, it's. It's. It started already. We're like halfway through, maybe. The uh, the, the fall, fall season. season. We've already got some good stuff. You know, Halo Five is pretty good. I'm playing that. Uh, Need for Speed's not great. It's okay. I wouldn't recommend it full price, but if you can get it on sale, go ahead and do so. It'll probably be on sale soon. I would It'll be in the vault. <laughs> in the vault in a week, yeah. And I'll be super butthurt about it. <laughs> uh, Rock Band is obviously one that you should get, um, because why the fuck wouldn't you? You know, you can play all your old DLC songs. They'll be adding in all the other Rock Band game songs. Um, so that is definitely something you should play and you should own. Um so I think that's it pretty much for the fall season, right? Um, I mean, yeah, after January, well, it fell, hell, even after December, you can't really count the fall season. So <clears throat> Yeah, uh, Tom Clancy's The Division, as it's listed, I don't know why I felt the need to say Tom Clancy's, obviously. Because that's the actual proper title. Yeah, but who says, I it. mean, come on, I don't, I don't say people. proper titles. Weird people. Uh, <laughs> yeah, The Division's supposedly coming out in March, but obviously there's we'll a, wait on that. There's supposed to be a beta next month. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Do I have to sign up? Uh, yeah, I think so. All right, I gotta figure out how to do that pronto because I want in. Uh, Quantum Break is also um, scheduled to release around that time in April. It's one of those things that I did so far in advance, like such a long time ago, that I questioned myself. <laughs> they they like, probably forgot uh, about you. Like um, next month, like probably around like I would say the seventh, I'm gonna be like, did I buy my Star Wars tickets? <laughs> I did. Now I now I have to go back and look at my you know email yeah. and hunt through like three months of emails. <sighs> that yeah, it's Con- Control F Fandango. <laughs> <Fine>. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So <clears throat> there's there was also another game like what the hell happened to Dead Island Two? Um, oh, here yeah. it says that it's scheduled for a December 31st, 2016 release. But because it had... It looks like placeholder because it also says that Dark, Dark Souls 3 is releasing at that date. Oh, uh, well, fucking Fallout and Tomb Raider releasing on the same date, Oh, so. speaking of, we forgot about Rise of the Womb Raider. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's also coming out, I guess, if you want to play it. I want to play it. <laughs> but I don't want to buy it. But, yeah, I don't want to buy it, right. Especially not not now. Same day as Fallout. Yeah, fuck out of here. I'm not buying another game after Fallout for like months. Yeah. Well, until Just Cause Three. So. <laughs> so a month. <laughs> yeah, one month. It's fine. Don't worry. We'll figure it out. Um. So I think that's it for fall news and shit, and games and stuffs. So uh, this Saturday we are doing an all night stream to doing it for charity for the extra life foundation or organization or whatever the hell you want to call it it's going to be benefiting the children's hospital of philadelphia (laughs) (laughs) uh so you should go to my twitch channel uh twitch.tv slash elite can't respawn and follow because then you'll know when i go live or you could go to our facebook or our twitter or youtube i don't know why you would go to youtube to find out but just do it anyways trust me it's totally worth it <laughs> um but yeah uh like the facebook page and follow the twitter to stay up to date on what's going on on saturday uh we're gonna be playing a shitload of games um basically, probably every game we own yeah basically everything we can mm-hmm. find and maybe stuff that we can't find i don't know what that means but hey it's, it's mysterious yeah <clears throat> um so we're gonna start at 4 p.m eastern time um, and we're just going to play until we die. Until we all pass out, <laughs> pretty much. Until we die. Uh, we all pass out or we're too belligerently <laughs> drunk to fucking be yeah. on camera. I uh, broke my fridge today, so i got to figure that out. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, we're going to play 
single player games, multiplayer games, co op games, ridiculous games. I don't just everything we can find. Right. So be sure to come by anytime after four PM, hang out, donate, tell other people to donate, help out some children's. So that's what we're doing this weekend. You should uh help out and do the same. Well don't stream who because doesn't, who doesn't want to wanna help children? I mean, come on. Yeah, come on. I mean if you don't want to help children, what kind of a terrible person are you? Jeez. Yeah, what the hell's wrong with you? If you're if you're one of those people, definitely don't like our pages. <laughs> no, but really do though. Just don't yeah. tell us about it. Keep it to yourself. No uh, Jews though. <laughs> okay, Jews. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no Jews, but no Jews are totally fine. Um, anyways, I think that wraps it up for twenty five. You guys have anything else? No, I'm good. I mean, I'm just ready for Saturday. I don't yeah, really, me too. Like we barely even prepared because we were just so focused on Saturday. Yeah, Guys, we gotta we gotta beat Bob Ross's record. He's been going for eight days. We gotta beat him. Bob Ross. I mean, technically he's a recording, but <laughs> he's a robot. He's been dead for a happy cloud painting robot. A long like yeah. fifty years. Is he still on? I think so. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm gonna check in on him later. I hope of he's not dead yet. <laughs> they just show him on stream slumped over in his chair. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> One last line of paint leading down to the floor. Happy little. <laughs> Makes a happy little tree. <laughs> he he finally paints the one sad cloud and then dies. Um, anyways, oh man, that's that's depressing. <laughs> that wraps up episode twenty five. We are res- we are respawn. What the fuck? You know who we are. We're out. Yeah.